Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a well a brand new bottle here in my cask which is already said to be uh, the last one. Mm, yeah, it's Ben Riach, 20 years old and there had been a 20 years old on the market for long now but it was lighter. It was quite golden um, and was matured in ex-bourbon or hogsheads. So even with an age of 20 years, um, it wasn't that dark. Um, now this darker one appeared on the market and was already said, well, this is the first and the last. Uh, there won't be much of it on the market. And it's only 43% ABV. Mm. Um, typically the bottlings from Benriach uh, after the takeover uh, by the South African company uh, together with uh, Alexander Walker, I think, as the master distiller, they had typically 46% ABV and this one has 43. Probably those are the last casts with a less ABV, so they weren't able to bring it up to 46. So they bottled it at 43. It's uncolored, so it's really a good uh, natural color in here uh, and it's officially not chill filtered but I think it will be uh, roughly normal filtering in it um, but with the 43% ABV typically you do not dilute it with water so there will be no haziness uh, and uh, who is willing to drink this whiskey on ice mm. well yeah no idea to that um, then when I was at the Keep of the Quaich meeting in April 2016 at Blair Castle, I sat at the table with a uh, couple from South Africa, Intratrading, the name of the company, beer company, which bought it. And I thought, why are they traveling from South Africa just for a Highland dinner to Blair Castle? And uh, well, a few days after I heard they sold the Benriach distillery together with the other two distilleries, the Glendronach and the Glenglasso. They acquired together, they bought together in a company. Um, they sold it to Brown Foreman, which uh, produced as well the uh, Jack Daniel whiskey and the Woodford Reserve. So um, this might be one of the last bottlings uh, done through well, this smaller company and in the future we will see uh, other bottlings uh, issued by Brown Foreman and the Glendronach, the sister company in the East Highlands, uh, they ran off a lot of old stocks so that they have to discontinue the 15 year old, the 18 year old is woo, uh, close to extinction and prices rose a lot. Uh, so it might happen to us that Ben Riach uh, will stop having those extreme vintage and older whiskies because they, well, they polished the bride before selling. Probably. No idea, I don't know it. So it's my suggestion. So this is a 20 year old. Um, color, mid amber, hints of gold, nose, spicy, nutty, no. Malty, nutty. It's a bad print. Honey, vanilla, floral, fruity with well-balanced and wood overtones. So 20 years will give a woody overtone. Taste, rounded, medium to full-bodied, rich honey, vanilla with hints of apples. Spice, chocolate and nuts. So this is a full matured single malt whiskey probably at the top of his ripeness um, with a 43%. Uh, so you do not have to dilute it and if it's strong enough you won't uh, miss the 46, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, have a try. <sighs> Full, spicy, and floral. The nuttiness already there and uh, the nuttiness is typically from the sherry cask. If you have an empty fresh 
drained sherry cask and you smell at the bunghole, then you have this nuttiness, extreme nuttiness, a hazelnut, walnut, extreme nuttiness. And this shows there's a lot of sherry cask in it and a, already a honey note in it, which is said to be common to the Benria whiskies and dark fruitiness. So this is full, massive and very, very complex and no alcohol at all. So it's only 43%. Ah, oh, wonderful aroma. Hmm. Full, silky, smooth. The honey is there, a nuttiness, a light spiciness, you know, the, the oaky overtones. Yeah, they're mouth-watering and no bitterness. A wonderful aftertaste, not this rough, uh, oaky, bitter espresso cappuccino aftertaste, but a wonderful light spiciness, middle long to long, uh, without any bitterness. Mm. Really a good one. Priced, oh, mouth-watering. Mm. Priced uh, still below 100, but mm, be aware, uh, if people start to like this, it will rise in price sharply, definitely. And if there's in the next upcoming uh, five to 10 years, nothing to come after. Yeah, that they really polished the bride. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. As always, there's more to come.